uh, twende moja kwa moja tusikilize hotuba ya rais William Ruto akiwa anazungumza kuhusiana na uh, zoezi la kuzindua uh, vitambulisho vya digitali hebu tusikize yanayojiri upande huu such a manner that the purposes and objectives of government are realized to the utmost transactional efficiency in the provision of public as well as private goods and services depends on a capacity to establish the identity of agents and quickly and accurately in that matter. In recognition of these imperatives, Kenya has established a strong track record of sound identity management practices anchored on a national population register that is underpinned by the maintenance of a shared fingerprint biometric system. The register captures the data of adult citizens, residents of national or foreign nationals, refugees, as well as other protected persons. Aside from this, Kenya also maintains a robust civil and vital statistics registration system. The government has instituted measures to ensure 100% registration of births and services and births and deaths by 2026. Aside from the overarching purposes of national identity management system, Kenya has specifically objectives, has specific objectives for pursuing this critical undertaking. Article 12 of our constitution sets out the entitlement of every citizen to rights privileges and benefits of citizenship and to a Kenyan passport and any document of registration or identification issued by the state to all our citizens. The state is therefore committed by implication to the full implementation of these clear constitutional provisions without any question or delay or any other excuse. In addition, these constitutional imperatives is aligned with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and more specifically SDG 16.9 under peace, justice and strong institutions to provide legal identity for all, including free birth registration. And I am very happy I was particularly impressed and fascinated by the presentation of Colin Howell, a great uh, a professional. And his journey across our continent and what he has, the kind of expertise he has been able to bring to bear on our identity infrastructure, including the Kenyan one. And I want to um, uh, say just two things. Even as you go through this uh, very important conversation, and as you bring our professionals, experts, scientists, designers into this space so that we can chart the way into the future together, including all the expertise that come and have worked with us. I want you to pay special attention to two fundamental things. Number one, we are investing as a continent, and specifically as a country, about 30%